Welcome to my channel. We do unboxings, limited editions, hauls, and mystery boxes. You know I love to shop and show you what I got. And we do everything here from beauty, makeup, skincare, lifestyle, self-care, wellness. We do coffee and tea and jewelry and candles, whatever appeals to me and hopefully to you too. Thanks for watching and subscribing and being there. It really does mean a lot to me. Please make sure you are subscribed to have giveaways going on and you must be publicly subscribed to participate in those. Um, today we're going to talk about a beauty box. Um, one that I was getting, I'm getting this as a bi-monthly, which I do like, and it's mostly makeup, so it's a little bit different than some of the others we get. Um, and this is out of Canada. This is the Chic Beauty Box. Um, we pay about, um, 30, $32, something like that. And then with shipping, another eight or so, I think it works out to about $42. I'm not going to do the math. 34, $34.99 plus shipping. So it's about $42, $43 when you're all done. And it comes out, like I said, bi-monthly. You usually get five to six items and you get to customize at least three of those items. So I do like that. Um, and it's usually a this or that kind of a customization. We don't always get to customize the, uh, customize the colors that we get. Um, so therein lies kind of an issue sometimes. Um, but we can pick our products and um, I would say it's a combination of drugstore and the higher end brands. So um, this was a customized box uh, because I do pay for it. Um, I've watched some of the other unboxers do this, but they don't pay for it. So they didn't get a customized box. So mine might be a little bit different um, than, than you've seen. Some items will be the same, but not all of them. So let's take a look at the five items that they sent us this month. now. I noticed that this box didn't have a card this month, and I'm noticing that as a trend, it seems like, because this is like the third or fourth box I got this month uh, from across different brands, and they didn't have a card in it. So I don't know if there's been some, some issue getting cards printed or, or kind of what's been going on with supply chain. Maybe they don't know until the last minute what items are going to be there. I'm not sure, but it seems kind of interesting to me that so many of these boxes that we've always gotten cards, all of a sudden we're not getting cards on. Um, anyway, all right, so here's the first item, and this was in everybody's box um, that I've seen open this. So I think everybody got this, so we did not customize this item, and it's a primer from CoverGirl. So here's an example of a drugstore brand. Now, I understand that True Blend um, is, is a newer or nicer of, of their lines, um, and it's a moisturizing, hydrating kind of a primer that kind of goes on as a lotion. Um, and it's not sealed, so I can show it to you. It really goes on very light, which is nice. So it's kind of like a lotion, which is really pretty. A lot of the ones I have are, are thicker than that, so that's actually really nice. And no scent, really, to it. So that's the first item. So this um, is about a $6 item. Then... Um, this was the next item I, that I chose, um, and I thought we got to choose colors on here. That was what they had told us, but um, I'm noticing everybody's pretty much getting this same color. I think one of the unboxers had a different color, but the most of us got this one, heroin. It wouldn't have been my first choice, um, but it's 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 these are a matte from Laura Mercier, a matte lipstick. It's called the Velour Extreme Matte Lipstick. And this color uh, is, tends to be a little orangey for me. Um, it's, I'm not going to swatch it because I'll probably put this in a giveaway. Um, it's kind of a, has some coral tones to it, which is pretty, but wouldn't have necessarily been, I would have probably taken something a little more neutral uh, than that, or nude, I would say, than that. Uh, but this is a $30 item. So um, nice quality product. If you like your lipsticks matte, you might want to just put a little bit of a gloss over it. Um, that's, so that's our second item. Next um, was a choice item. Now, most of the unboxers I saw got a second, a, another primer, and it was a color changing primer. Um, I don't remember which brand it was in that they got, but I didn't get that item. I chose this instead. So this is an item you're not going to see everywhere. Um, this is from Lumen, which I've never heard of. This is Saisu. This is a facial oil. Um, recover and protect. And it's, um, it says, after a long, dark winter comes an intense burst of continuous summer light. 
It has uh, Arctic and Nordic plants uh, in it. Um, it harnesses these rare uh, plants, combining them with pure Arctic spring water and carefully selected skincare ingredients to correct, create powerful radiance boosting skincare. So um, this item that I chose um, is a $24 item. Um, unfortunately, the other people who chose the primer, the color changing primer, ended up getting two primers in the box. So um, I don't know why they chose to put the CoverGirl primer in when they already had a primer, but that's what they did. So I didn't, I got this oil as it turns out instead. So I'm happy to have that. The next item is from Kaja and um, we've gotten Kaja before in the stack, um, which had like the, the different shadows in it. This is a highlighter and there were two different ones you could have chosen. There was one that had um, a spring and you dipped it in and it was either in like a moon or a star or something like that. That didn't really speak to me. But this other highlighter, and believe me, if it was a choice of a non-highlighter, I would have taken that because I don't use highlighters. But given the choice, um, this is their bouncy blendable highlighter, um, Muji Glow. And the packaging on here is really nice too. And the color, it was three different colors that this comes in. They gave us all the same one. It was the darker, the sunburst. But it's kind of a bronzy color, which is really pretty. Um, I don't know that I would use this as a highlighter, but I might use this as an eyeshadow. So I'm going to hang on to that item because I, I might actually do that and play with that a little bit. Um, and this is a $21 item. So, um, like I said, an interesting item. Then the last item was a palette, and you had a choice of two. One was an Elizabeth Arden kind of a full face palette. I don't know. Elizabeth Arden to me is it's an old drugstore brand. You haven't seen much about it unless you shop at those drugstores. It didn't really scream at me. Um, but it was up against this palette, the NARS, and I love NARS. Um, this is their Climax palette. Uh, it's a nine pan eyeshadow. The colors are really pretty. I will say this is not a new palette. Um, this has been out. It came out last fall, so it's about a year old. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that, but I'm um, just mentioning it, that you don't always get newer items in here. You usually get older items in here. I do notice that. Um, but, but we get a nice selection of items. So the colors on here are really, really pretty. Um, very fall-like. Again, my lighting, not the best, um, but really, really pretty. So there's some greens, a um, couple of greens. Um, these are pretty um, kind of metallics that I would like. Um, there's a black, grayish black at the bottom here, um, a burgundy. So really pretty colors um, in here. I probably would use these three colors for me because I tend to be very conservative in my eyes. Um, in this palette, $49, but you probably can get it cheaper because it's not a new palette, but, but figuring on the higher side, it's $49. So um, that said, my box was uh, $79, um, $103, $109, worth, which sounds about right for their box. Um, like I said, it's been about $42. So um, even if I, I usually just keep maybe three out of five of the items, I don't always keep all the items. So it still was a good deal for me. I'm going to hang on to the palette. I'm going to try this face oil. I love new skincare products. And um, I'll keep this uh, this primer, probably. And then um, I want to play with this this highlighter this month. I mean, like I said, not as a highlighter, maybe as an eyeshadow, because it's a very pretty bronzy color. The lipstick is the only thing I probably will put in a giveaway, because I have so many lippies, and this is not a color I would reach for. So um, I do have giveaways going on. We hit a 1,000. Thank you very much. I do appreciate that. And what I'm doing is... Uh, four separate videos on that and I will pick a winner from each of those four videos and I'll announce it on November 10th but you must be subscribed and comment in those videos um, with the word that I use um, so um, this this is not I would love to hear from you in this video and let find out what you think about this chic beauty box um, but um, this is not going to be one that we're going to have uh, winners entered in there'll be other ones so I have posted two so far and there'll be two more this week um, I've got a lot of videos coming up this week. So thank you again for watching and subscribing, and I will see you in our next one.